The world of combat sports has been electrified by the official announcement of the upcoming bout between Anthony Joshua and Francis Ngannou. But sometimes you want to see the biggest power punchers, the heavy-handed destroyers, get in there, just smash the living hell out of each other and see who's left standing at the end of it. And that's exactly what we're going to get. We have a mega fight on our hands. Anthony Joshua! That was the sharpest I've seen Anthony Joshua in a long time. Francis the Predator! Sound the opponents with a touch of the fingertips. Well, you saw what he did to Overeem. Francis put him into orbit. Jesus Christ. Set to take place in Saudi Arabia on March 8, 2024, we are in for a truly incredible showdown. Just yesterday, the public criticized and mocked Nganu for his departure from the UFC, and today he makes his debut in professional boxing, knocking down one of the best heavyweights on the planet, Tyson Fury, and delivering one of the most competitive and vibrant fights in his career. After this sensational boxing debut, Nganu is now perceived as a high-class boxer with remarkable technique, reflexes, speed, and agility, not only for a debutante, but for a professional. Following his thunderous boxing debut, Nganu secures another boxing match against the former world champion in the heavyweight division across three organizations. Anthony Joshua, who is on a distinguished winning streak and dominantly destroying his opponents, and the results, in just one bout with Fury, the Cameroonian earned more than his entire UFC career to reverse the pinnacle of modern boxing and has no plans to stop there. Saudi Arabia's current trend is to revive the glory of combat sports and they have special plans for boxing. The winner of this bout will face the undisputed world champion in the heavyweight division, determined in the clash between Tyson Fury and Alexander Yusek. Incredible, isn't it? Get comfortable, let's break down this fight. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Let's go! The promo of this bout should begin with Anthony Joshua, one of the main contemporary heavyweight contenders. He ranks among the top three, is an Olympic champion, former holder of WBA, WBO, and IBF belts, and has even been awarded the Order of the British Empire. Throughout his career, Joshua has consistently dominated his opponents, notably defeating the great champion Vladimir Klitschko, destroying promising prospects and backing up his words with actions. After experiencing two losses to Yusek, Anthony Joshua revitalized his career by overhauling his fight tactics, adjusting his style, and securing three consecutive victories over renowned opponents, two of which were by knockout. In his last match, he decisively outclassed Otto Wallen. While Wallen was not a world champion, he boasted 26 wins and only one loss against the undefeated WBC world champion Tyson Fury. The bout unfolded with Joshua in complete control, culminating in a fifth-round stoppage as Wallen's corner opted not to continue the fight. Originally planning to face Deontay Wilder, Joshua's plans were altered when Wilder unexpectedly lost to Joseph Parker, rendering the proposed match meaningless. Joshua, having cleared the division, now stands as the top contender for the IBF and WBO belts. However, the mandatory bout is postponed, as the current belt holders are set to vie for the title of undisputed world champion. The spotlight now shifts to the new and promising threat in the royal division, Francis Ngannou, who came close to defeating Tyson Fury. The Gypsy King was in top form, displaying skillful tactics and boxing legends. Thus, Ngannou confidently entered the ranks of the heavyweight division, securing the title of a promising contender. Anthony Joshua is not young, and he won't sit idly waiting for the winner of the star-studded pair. Instead, he has decided to face the main threat in his division, the well-known Cameroonian. This bout is highly intriguing and carries a wave of uncertainty. Anthony Joshua's style and approach to the fight differ fundamentally from Tyson Fury's. It cannot be said that Joshua is weaker or stronger than Tyson. Stylistically, he is an entirely different boxer. The entire boxing community is eager to see how the experimental Francis will fare against the world or to more powerful and robust as the Briton and whether he can replicate the success that resounded so loudly after the bout with Fury. The boxers themselves also have fundamental differences, not only in boxing but in life. In 2012, Anthony Joshua won Olympic gold and earned his first million dollars for his boxing endeavors. Meanwhile, Francis Ngannou illegally left Cameroon and embarked on a tremendous journey full of challenges and hardships in pursuit of the means to fulfill his dreams. 
And now, let's delve into some aspects of the fighters, their knockout power, and make a prediction for this bout. Cardio Dimensions and Anthropometry Comparing the cardio and dimensions of the boxer, it's challenging to identify a clear favorite, and Ganu confidently navigate combinations. On the other hand, Joshua is a distinctly powerful puncher, but he has a wealth of experience in the professional ranks with numerous opponents possessing diverse technical styles, strikers, southpaws, and mixed styles. His resume includes several 12-round bouts, along with late-round knockouts. It's challenging to say what a mixed martial arts champion with 5 five-minute rounds can bring in terms of cardio competition to the world of boxing champions, where all 12 rounds are 3 minutes each. However, Nganu confidently withstood fury. Anthony is slightly taller but lighter than his Cameroonian opponent by 20-25 to 25 pounds. Nganu has a slight reach advantage, but Joshua has boxed with larger opponents. I believe they are quite evenly matched in these aspects. Let's move on to the next. Punching Technique and Knockout Power Here we come to the most interesting aspect of this confrontation. It's no secret that Francis possesses the ability to knock out opponents with a single punch, and in terms of knockout power, he surpasses Joshua. In the bout against Tyson, everyone expected Francis to leap towards his opponent, engage in crude boxing, and throw wild swings. However, Nganu showcased remarkable boxing skills, maintaining a solid distance and stance, creating space for the rear hand, consistently keeping his guard up, and being ever ready. He skillfully utilized the jab, controlled the distance, dictated the pace of the fight in his favor, continuously moved, and demonstrated all the nuances of professional boxing. Nganu landed both series and single shots. While the Cameroonian didn't showcase deceptive maneuvers or feints, his style was enough to remain competitive and continually surprise his opponent. He delivered his signature 1-2 overhand through the shoulder, complemented by lateral movements, making himself elusive for opponent counterattacks. Toward the end of the bout, Nganu's attacks were faster and more powerful than those of his star opponent. Anthony Joshua, on the other hand, made adjustments after the decisive duology with Yusik and now comfortably works at the extended reach distance, reinforced by constant jabbing and movements. Before changing his coaching staff, Joshua faced a dilemma – fight or box? When he chose to fight, he became lost in his own attacks and looked unsure, exemplified by his first bout against Andy Ruiz. However, when Anthony started boxing for real, he managed to present a competitive fight in the rematch against Alexander Yusek. Despite not fully adapting to the style of a technical puncher within five months, Joshua made a few mistakes in his second bout with Yusek, and there were still some areas needing improvement. However, in his last three matches, Anthony literally became a new upgraded version of himself. With added shifts and dodges, AJ can swiftly close the distance by changing angles and delivering powerful strikes to his opponent. The matches with Yusik worked to his advantage, as Joshua partially borrowed insights from the Ukrainian boxing school. He now steps behind the opponent's front foot, changes attack angles, and avoids getting into an outright brawl. Joshua's priority now is to land punches while remaining unscathed, which will undoubtedly help him perform successfully against Francis Ngannou. Anthony is a big, strong, and powerful boxer. He possesses everything Ngannou has – power, muscles, dimensions, impressive physical attributes, and also years of experience. Moreover, boxing is Joshua's way of life, something the Briton has been doing throughout his entire life. Prediction for the fight Anthony Joshua seems to be the favorite by experts in this bout. The key to victory over Ngannou lies in a sharp jab, the ability to control distance, and comparable punching power with Ngannou. Joshua needs to come out and neutralize Nganu's strengths. With the jab battle, methodically take control of the fight from the start and constantly press Nganu, denying him the opportunity for explosive attacks and taking space in the ring. In terms of punching power, Joshua is more powerful and stronger than Fury, and after the bounce with Yusik, Anthony has learned to cut angles and shift under his actions. AJ will want to show Tyson Fury an example of how boxing should have been done. In the first half of the fight, Anthony will intelligently, methodically, and unhurriedly test Nganu's skills and abilities, and after the midpoint, the fight will take new turns. Joshua must force Nganu to make mistakes and commit, meaning he will start to intensify the action and increase the density of the fight, adding power to his punches and heightening the situations. However, if Anthony approaches the bout as a light stroll, repeats Fury's mistake, and underestimates Nganu's skills and abilities, he could face his fourth and most devastating defeat in his career. Francis is skilled and strong enough for an early end to the fight. It is not excluded that both boxers will experience knockdowns and absorb their opponent's destructive damage multiple times, but this only adds charm and interest to the bout. In any case, both boxers will demonstrate the highest quality and conditioning, and we will find out the winner of this star-studded showdown on March 8th. 
And that's it for today. Who do you think will win? Let's discuss in the comments. See ya.